Hello everyone, Update 72 is here, and with that, it brings new permanent content, land, a tower challenge, leaderboard events, and a new season pass. So it's a lot of stuff for right now. So I'm going to walk you through the tower challenge event, which started today, as well as the new season pass on the best ways to approach that, and what you should do, whether you should buy it, whether you shouldn't buy it. I am going to be doing the Wally permanent content storyline, and I will be expanding my kingdom. So it's a really, really big day a really big day for my kingdom I did want to talk about the, um before we kind of dive into everything update 72 has to offer I wanted to just talk about update 73 and 74 because we have a little roadmap now this is something that Disney's Dreamlight Valley and uh Disney Speedstorm have been doing and since Gameloft also owns Disney Magic Kingdom as well as those other two games it means roadmaps I was wondering if this was going to become a thing uh roadmaps are going to be a new thing for Disney Magic Kingdoms too so this is really awesome I love this it's perfect uh caught between a boulder and a mini event so I obviously already know what's going on here because of our season pass but it's going to be Indiana Jones and we are going to have to most likely work our butts off for Indiana Jones and I'm sure some of the amazing attractions that that will bring. I don't know where on earth we're going to put all that because frankly, even though they put out two new lands last for us in update 72, they really need to put up more in 73 or 74 because uh, yeah, the, again, it's still not even close to enough. Um, but you know what? It's a start in the right direction. So fingers crossed that they just give us what is left of land and then maybe worry about what happens after that. If we have to wait a year for more land, just give us everything and then, you know, make us wait a year. But um, at this point, we just need it all. I hate barriers and black smoke. It just makes it makes a creative process very difficult when there are walls that will eventually come down for expansion. It's just it's brutal. It's really brutal. Anyway, moving on from the land thing, um, we have Indiana Jones for update 73. And then update 74, we have a perfect mega, mega event. And that is going to be because it is Aristocats finally into the kingdom. This is going to be great. There are going to be five new characters with that one premium um, for 500 gems. So start saving your gems now. However, we are going to need to talk about not only saving gems for that, but saving it for the current update. So let's go back to update 72. Um, I guess before I do that, though, I will probably be doing a prediction video for the characters that will be coming for Aristocats um, in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that by subscribing, of course, to the channel right now before you forget. And also give the video a big Mickey thumbs up for me. OK, so we have the Wally update. This is something I have been really looking forward to. And I was wondering if it was going to happen just based off of the Disney's Dreamlight Valley update because Disney's Dreamlight Valley had Wally get a costume recently and a whole new storyline. It was so cool. And I was like, you know what? This would be so great if, um, you know, we could have more with that in Disney Magic Kingdoms. And they did not disappoint. So I'm so happy about this update. This is probably one of the first ones. Um, I guess the Inside Out one I was pretty pumped for too. So I guess it's like, you know, lately I feel like things things are going in a good direction. I'm quite happy about this. So uh, when you enter your kingdom, if you have progressed with the storyline enough, you will get the following dialogue. Directive. Plant. Earth. Hmm. Scanning. Dot, 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 scanning. <laughs> Send Eve to look for just the right spot. So that quest takes two hours. Eve just flies around. I couldn't get her to stay still for a screenshot. So we just, you know... Uh, if you click on her, you'll see for yourself next time you want to send her out for a quest. I thought this was hilarious. But yeah, so two hours to look for the right spot. And then this is essentially what she does. So I think this is pretty great. And uh, why I decided to share this little clip with you guys is because we got two characters. Yep. Also showing besides Eve. And once that quest is done done <laughs> this is actually really cute uh screenshot of eve here <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen her look like that no no oh quest complete scanning scanning <laughs> wally <laughs> scanning wally wally hmm Call for backup. Kingdom quest, build Wally's house. So make sure it's just in your kingdom. Otherwise, you'll have to find room to put it in. Wally? Home. No. Quest complete. Call for backup. <sighs> hmm. 
Wally. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't say much. <laughs> yep, I'm doing all the dialogue anyways, though. Down cycle. This is a kingdom quest. Send Eve to get distracted for two hours. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she needs the distraction. Um, however, this is the quest here, which, again, I thought I'd show you guys. I don't think this was a quest before. I feel like this is something new with the, uh, the popping bubbles. But, yeah, I thought the animation was adorable. Now, two expand the kingdom if you want to expand the kingdom you are going to have to go where you fight mother gothel and uh we you know we already have one slot of land there open the next slot is going to be just off to its right for two million this was a very pleasant surprise i was very worried it was gonna be like 10 20 something obnoxious like that million it was only two so very happy about that so i started that process that takes 24 hours though pop <gasps> Oh. Hmm. Directive? Pop. <laughs> Quest complete. Down cycle. <laughs> hmm. Wally. Just missed him. Send Eve to investigate Wally's house. So that is four hours there to do. Now, the Mo Bundle has shown up. Yeah, he was something that didn't show up right away. You can buy him in the shop right now for $12.99 plus tax. Prices will vary depending on where you are in the world. If you're Canadian, this is your price. So this includes tokens to get Mo to a level 2. That is the only bundle that is available. I thought, honestly, we were going to get something that was going to give, like, a concession or something or decoration. But nope. Nope, just Mo and two a two. I think they should just also have um, the bundle available if you just want to welcome him into the kingdom and you don't want to get him two a two. Uh, I think it would make it a little cheaper and more realistic. I probably would have bought it had it been just that. It would probably only would have saved a couple dollars, but it might have been nine ninety nine plus tax. And then you know, again, it just might have been a little bit cheaper. So, so they used to do things like that. They don't do that anymore for some silly, silly reason. But I hope they bring that back at some point. Um, so if you want to buy Mo, though, outside of real money, you will need to save your gems. So how do you get gems? Well, there are many ways. Leveling up characters, of course, watching video ads. You can watch two a day. Opening chests around your kingdom, they can pop up. If you get some extra currency after a tower event or limited time event, you'll get a couple of gems from that. So there are just a couple of ways that you can get it. There's also, if you have your thrill zone at certain levels, you can get gems there your calendar etc etc if you need some more ways feel free to let me know in the comment section below but for those of you vets i think you pretty much know that there are quite a few ways to get a couple gems here and there from your kingdom i am gonna wait just so you guys know i'll, I'll quickly just say this about mo is that i'm gonna wait till i get to 500 part of this was because wally is apparently they said it was supposed to be free now, so I thought, oh, does this mean we get gems back? We already have Wally. Apparently not. Um, I think that's really weird because then that's two premium characters in this collection and it's not very big. So I'm a little bit surprised by this, to be honest. I am just going to save my gems and just go from there and see what happens because I just think it's a little bit ridiculous to honestly uh, expect more than that from me, I guess, at this point in the, uh, in the game. So after that, we get um, some dialogue from Eve with her quest. Wally. Wally. Quest complete. Just missed him. Hmm. Wally? Hmm. She doesn't say. I, I just I feel like it. we really didn't need this much dialogue from her because it's not really dialogue, but whatever. Um, find clues at Wally's. So this is six hours long. So that quest is a little... So this quest is six hours long, and this just makes, you know, it's a little bit longer than the last one. Then we get this quest here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wally. Directive. Quest complete. Which way is Wally? Earth. Wally. Directive. Track those treads. This is a kingdom quest. Send Eve to follow Wally's trail. So that doesn't seem like there's any particular side quests or anything like that. It seems to be all kingdom. This quest is eight hours, so even longer than that. So all those quests took me about a day to do. And then uh, this has now led me to the four million 
land slot, which is just behind the one that I just unlocked. And then that's going to be it for land. So we just have those two spots. I feel like it needs to be all beachy and like Finding Nemo and things like that. But I have my Finding Nemo and stuff set up super nice already. And I'm hesitant because they didn't give us um, the fourth slot here, which I thought they were based off of the trailer. It kind of looked like we were getting all like three more. So this whole area was complete. But um yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm not going to pull that section apart. Looks pretty good. I feel like maybe pirates and stuff could have just move in here for the time being. Um, but I don't really need any pirate stuff out. So what I might do for this area for now is just use this as things that I am I can essentially pull in and out. So I've been doing that with Big Thunder, like in around Thunder Mountain. And that may not change completely uh, for the, again, for the time being. I'm Obviously, this has to like fully unlock and everything like that which takes another day but I just like I'm just totally not sure how I want to do this I could just leave my section the way it is and then have these two as like it's essentially just uh you know throw things in and out as I need to and then leave my kingdom pretty which seems a little bit better to me um so that way I could decorate and around Big Thunder Mountain again and that would just that would be great I'd be really happy about that um because right now it's pulled apart it's pretty much destroyed and I'd have to redo like the whole thing <laughs> So, yeah. Wally. Eve? Home? Huh. Class complete. Track those treads. Huh. Wally. Eve? Home? Huh. Wow, she just keeps saying the same things. Welcome a human. This is, again, a kingdom quest, of course. Welcome the captain. So, the captain doesn't actually have a name. But uh, you need 15 of each of his tokens. So I will go over that when I actually head into my kingdom. You need 20 common tokens. So I already have a whole bunch of those. So that is a nice little start there. Um, and 24,000 magic. So this isn't that much. And this, I just think that that's really great. Now also too, if you guys have been keeping up with either patch notes, the trailer, or the actual um, update preview, you may have seen that we got a new attraction this update. The Axiom. And the Axiom can only be found in Merlin's shop, which goes uh, in there for 15,000 elixirs. It is a very cool attraction. I will show you guys how cool it is when I get in there. Um, it just really seems like something that should have been in the kingdom all along. And I love that because some of the newer stuff it's like it's not sized necessarily properly or um, it just it doesn't flow with like the rest of it. So I, I, it's hard to explain, but there's certain newer stuff. There's like less detail sometimes to attractions. None of the ones that you're seeing, though, right beside each other. These are all perfect. Um, but yeah, like the inside out ones, for example, cute, but missing, you know, some features to it. Um, and again, like, uh, I don't know. I just, I felt like they were a little, um, they were weak. They were weak compared to the Axiom. So the Axiom is definitely in, uh, in one of the, the top newer attractions for sure. So the Kingdom Pass is also available, as I said earlier. Um, uh, so don't miss out on this season's premium rewards. Those include more things for Wally. Now, why should you buy the Kingdom Pass? Because you will not get all the rewards. Now, um, this is this is the issue. If you don't get it early on, you will not get the happiness boost that this gives. Now, this doesn't mean for your token drops or anything like that. It actually means that for your season pass. So as you're collecting things, it's worth more. Right. So if you decide to buy the Kingdom Pass later, it doesn't benefit you for all the work that you've done so far. So uh, that's why I say buy it right the second it comes out before you do anything else. And it's just uh, it's better. So it's it's a good value. Uh, it's very expensive, though. Uh, you don't need to buy it too often, but every couple of months it's like, again, you're going to be spending it again, depending on where you are in the world. It's like thirty dollars. So. Uh, for those of you guys in the U.S., it's probably like 20 but it's, it is it is expensive, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, you do get a lot of gems and stuff from it. So again, it is useful besides all the other exclusive things that you get from there. But yeah, just uh, just something to think about before you actually go and buy it. 
So the tower challenge started for me. So we are going to start with Merlin here. Can you feel it? The kingdom's magic. It's changing somehow, as if everything has been knocked off kilter. I've cast spell after spell in hopes of fixing it, but they're not having nearly as much effect as I'd like. This doesn't bode well at all. Not one little bit. Ha 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 ha. Insolent fools. Up until now, my curses may have been thwarted, but no longer, for this spell is different than the others. This curse will steal away the dreams of everyone in the kingdom, transforming it into the place where nightmares come true. <laughs> yep, Maleficent is back. It is intense. So was Honest John, as a matter of fact, who is the most dishonest person, that is for sure. And he is now maxed out. I see bright lights and applause in your future, chum. Wow. I also leveled up Fallon. So cute. I haven't done that for a while. She's kind of been sitting in my storybook ready, so. And she is a six. This is fun. The tower challenge has begun. I don't know why this showed up later, but um, the tower event shop is overflowing with exciting rewards that I will be showing you guys in just a second here. After we bring back two more characters, first we are bringing back Mrs. Jumbo, who is now level seven. Thank you, dear. And... We are also going to be bringing back a second Dumbo character. Have you guessed it? Mr. Stork. And he is now a level 9. I, I'm rather surprised. And now it is time to dive into my glorious kingdom here. Actually, we didn't make it. The game just crashed. This is not good. Right in the middle of my video. It's crashed twice. I'm just going to say I'm very happy that this... Okay, so we're in. Didn't crash so far. Thank goodness I wasn't live and this had happened because I would have been quite upset. Quite upset indeed. Okay, so let's talk about the tower challenge so the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is send out your characters so for this section of the tower challenge chapter one you are going to need your pinocchio characters out and about so i hope you have them figaro is going to be used as a featured character this means the character you can use consistently and it won't get tired so if you have figaro maxed out is definitely the best option for you in the first slot, we can add any of the following characters that are on this list. So Pinocchio, Prince Charming, Goofy, and Jesse. However, Pinocchio this round has an additional bonus here. So you're going to want to add Pinocchio if you have him. Even if he's a low level, he is your best option. Again, you can pick anybody you want, but because of that bonus, it makes it worth it. Uh, for the second slot here, we have Mr. Mittens, Stromboli, Sully, and Woody. So Mr. Mittens for this round is going to be my best option, even though he is a level four. I literally just, I haven't leveled him up in a while for no particular reason. I just, you know, been busy doing other stuff in my game. So yeah, so he's, he's my weakest character, that's for sure, but still worth putting out uh, for the bonus, honestly. Uh, Merryweather, Bo Peep, Ducky, and Honest, or not so honest, John, I guess I should be calling him. Um, now, Merryweather is the character here that I'm going to want to use the bonus for. So you guys are going to probably have to remove characters in net of your kingdom. Keep that in mind because of the character limit of 100, which drives me freaking bonkers. But face it, it's just the way it is now for whatever reason. Um, the last slot here is going to be Geppetto, Ham, Boo, and Eve. So Geppetto this time will be the featured character. It will change, though, every single round. Now, if you guys are looking at Ham, I've already used him to send out. So if I did want to use him right now, or if he was the featured character again, I would have to use refresh tokens in order to use him. So just, again, keep that in mind. The refresh tokens, they can be used up real fast. <laughs> real fast. So there's going to be a couple of ways to get these, and I will review them with you in a few minutes. But, uh, you know, oh, I just totally used it for no reason. 
Oh, well. Anyways, if you use it, then he'll become available. Now, just because I choose Geppetto for this one, it's not going to matter. Next round, he'll just be available for me because I use the refresh token. So now I can send everybody out to challenge the tower. So as you guys can see at the bottom, the points reward is between 890 and 1390. And then the coins reward is between 425 and 505. Now, with the full team, I get an additional bonus. Um for that i will get additional 450 and then of course because of the match <laughs> we get another bonus right so an extra 1200 so i'm i'm happy about this that means we should send them out now i was saving that for a while because i was like yeah i gotta do my video soon so <laughs> it's been a few hours so i've only actually challenged the tower once so far chapter two just to take a quick sneak peek on the front here miss charlotte labeouf I am not maxing her out until we get our princess costume. I feel she deserves a costume. I've made that commitment now for years, so I'm not doing it. So she's my featured character. She'll be a nine. Will make me a tiny bit weaker, but nothing too bad. Um, so for the next one, Princess and the Frog is going to be the featured collection. So you guys can see all of the different characters that you guys will be able to use to challenge the tower in Chapter 2. Now, Chapter 2 doesn't start yet, <laughs> luckily. We have four days, 17 hours before that happens. Um, and then after that, it'll be another five days. And then we will get the final chapter. So Chapter 3 will be featured featuring Alice in Wonderland with the caterpillar being the character that doesn't get tired. So the featured character there, very important if you guys have him and you, you know, or any of these characters really, and they aren't, you know, maxed out. So for example, Miss Bianca might want to max her out if you can or level her up. In my case, level her up. Um, she's a seven. So if I can get her up one more level, that'll make her just that little bit more powerful. Now, Mo won't be very powerful, I understand that if you guys do even have him, but if you do and he has the full team bonus with him, again, it makes it worth it. And it's just an extra character, right, that you don't have to use a refresh token on. It's just kind of nice. So, again, we have to wait for that. And we have the exploration here, which is available. So you can send a couple of characters to go out and help you get some additional refresh tokens. So, for example, I can do Cinderella right now. Uh, she can be the third character. If you guys are wondering how many, it says at the very bottom there, it says one of three explorations available. So right here, I forgot to have my cursor. I can't use on my, my computer. I'm playing on my phone, but recording it on the computer. So has has its perks there. So she goes out for six hours and um, you'll be able to get four refresh tokens from that. So once you complete an entire row of these, so if I go um, horizontal, I will get, I'll get, um, eight. And then if I go vertical, I will get six. So you can also get some random chests in there as well that can help you out, but those are random and sporadic. You could have shadows pop up and y'all have to clear those are an absolute pain in the butt. Um, they didn't pop up for me this time, but I'm sure you guys will get a look at those in your own kingdoms when they come. You'll have to clear those if you want to continue doing any exploration you'll be stopped. So it's it's a, it's a little annoying, but you can click and see on any of the characters how long they'll need to go out for. Obviously, certain characters, you know, uh, you might need for happiness or different things. And for example, sending Mickey out for 12 hours, it just seems so crazy. 12 hours, you know? Um, but don't worry if you guys don't get around to doing Mickey right away. You can wait, even though chapter two here will you know again unlock and you'll be able to use any of these characters you'll still be able to do the ones in chapter one and same goes when you get to chapter three you'll be able to do two and one at least for the exploration but not for the actual challenge part right so you can only use this for chapter one and then once you it hits the next uh chapter then you'll again you won't be able to do this so that's kind of the the only difference really between the two things there refreshes so we have three attractions that we can place in pick what is best for you now for me my best option is my level uh three enchantment here believe it or not i was quite surprised by it um but it is currently brewing cocoa so yeah, the deck. Uh, well, the next one is decorating mugs, and the last one is assembling snacks. So I picked the the top ones here from uh, Ducktales, Pinocchio, and Toy Story. They were my best options, but pick the one that is best for you. It can get you refreshes when the timer is up. If you replace it, the timer changes. You can skip them along, but I would just save your gems or you know your skip tokens for other things. 
Um, now, once we hit chapter two, another slot will unlock, and then the same for chapter three. So again, keep that in mind. Progress, milestones here. So this is where we see our rewards that we get for the actual chapter. So for the first chapter, we can get uh, up to 2,000 currency which is great. We can also get some additional uh, ingots for elixirs. Then we'll get a Princess and the Frog legendary chest. If you guys are missing characters for the next chapter, this is a good way to get your hands on it. Um, and then, of course, if we complete it, you'll have an attraction enchantment chest. Now, th again, even if you have like everything in this, you're still going to need to do this. Why? Very simple. The season pass. So I'll go over that and I'll show you um, in a couple minutes here once we finish uh, the walk through for the actual tower challenge chapter two again you can get a quick look i'll go over them once we the chapters hit but same idea so you guys will get an idea of like how much currency you're going to get so you can strategize yourself a little bit um now you also here have a leaderboard if you guys want to see how you are doing or whatever this is where you're going to go if you want the dumpling stand or sorry steam dumpling stand uh you are going to need to rank number one on the leaderboard to get this stand um it used to be the maleficent horn stand every time it is not so right now i'm not doing too bad if i you know keep progressing the way i'm progressing um there's no it doesn't seem to be any like gemmers or anything right now so i might be on a decent leaderboard rock on Usually people are gemming like crazy on that. Uh, so if anybody has any questions about the tower challenge, feel free to pop them in the comment section below. Uh, the refresh tokens is going to be the last thing I'm going to talk about and how you guys can get more of these. We saw the exploration was kind of the main way um, if you want to get a lot. However, clearing away hidden crows. You can get a bunch of those um, every four hours. Now, the thing is, is that I can't show you the crows at the moment because mine are cooling down. I can use skip timers or gems if I want to, but I'm going to be saving mine. It is not worth it, but you guys can um, do that if you want. Uh, let's see here. I just cleared away a curse attraction. You basically need to do that if you want to gather the magic and the tokens that are underneath it. Uh, that can give you a tiny, tiny bit of additional currency, but uh, I'd say useful to do, especially if you're collecting tokens from attractions. Uh, the second way besides the crows uh, are, is the exploration, which we went over. The third way is going to be just refreshes. Hmm. Now you might go, what the heck? The refreshes very simply are going to be from your attractions that are just going to be getting them there. So that is called the refreshes. And then finally, you can buy some from Merlin's shop. Now you can also buy some relics in there as well. Be careful though. One thing I noticed is that if I maxed out with Pinocchio, for example, it would cost me 4000 thousand like what the actual heck that is crazy i literally blew through elixirs just getting buying some for wally i literally blew through like i had so many elixirs it was crazy um but yeah they, it adds up it is crazy and uh be careful so you can get up to five refresh tokens a day so it'll cost you a thousand a day like that is pretty pricey i'm probably going to yeah I think I'm going to wait for now, um, but every day you should try and buy them, especially if you guys are down at least one character um, to actually challenge the tower. It's definitely going to be your best friend because you have less characters to work with, right? So that definitely makes it more important. Next up is going to be the season pass. So the fun thing is, is we get to have a look at it together. Yay. So our first kind of exciting reward is going to be at level 20. Why? Well, Henry Jones Sr. Yep, we are going to be getting Indian Jones's father pretty early, actually. So that's really, really cool. Um, and it's going to be our very first Indiana Jones character in the kingdom. Level 40, we get the donut in a cup stand. Now, this is only if you have the, the premium pass. I activated it um, when it popped up so I could, uh, yeah, I could kind of utilize its benefits here. And then at... 50, you can get a Finding Nemo legendary chest. Obviously, there's gems and rewards in between. 55, you get the brand new um, Wally Planter. At 70, you'll get the new Indiana Jones's hat stand. This will take a little while, but these are here just for you guys to kind of be able to see and stuff like that. 75, we're going to be getting the lecture hall. So that will be the first Indiana Jones attraction. There's even some relics in there too. The Temple Snake statue goes at 85. And then level 100, we get the Cherry Nutrient Shake Stand. That is from Wally, -E, so that's going to be pretty cool. Then after that, you'll have to wait to tier 115 to get Eve's Sculpture. 
And at 125, an Alice in Wonderland legendary chest. 130, we've got the lunchbox tart stand. 140, we have Moana's ore stand. And then 50, we <laughs> preppy. I love it. I was like, wait, what? We have preppy? No, 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 no. That's just her look. That is the costume's name. So we get Marion Ravenwood. So this is... Indiana Jones's uh, lady friend. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll call her that. She is seriously cool. Um, so I love that she gets the two looks there. So at 150, that probably won't happen for at least 80 days from now for me. 100%. 80 days of hard work. That would be the absolute earliest that I would get, um, Mary. Now you can gem your way through this pass. I would not recommend it because it will get so expensive. Like I can't even, I can't even. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I mean, if somebody wanted to do the math on how much it would cost to level up, like, each time, oh my gosh, it would be ridiculous. Uh, so there are going to be dailies that we can do for that. Those look about the same as they were before. Um, the weeklies, they mine seem a little bit reasonable, uh, actually, in terms of, I guess, their expectations before it was like you know they were asking a lot from me and I found it was pretty brutal especially during a tower challenge so it seems to be okay for now I, I think my my weeklies are fine so no complaints there and I guess the big thing is is the tower event I really wanted to see if they changed this I actually haven't looked yet um nope they did not so the final reward here which gets you 935 happiness oh you have to get to 125,000 tower challenge points now the thing is is that is even more than we need to get all the rewards in every chapter so this is stupid like it's literally so dumb that it's so high like I think it should just end with the amount that you need after you face the chat the the tower um, it's just how it goes it just doesn't make any sense at all so just to give you guys um, an idea here so you need 30,000 points uh, to get to the first milestone, okay? So this is this is kind of like one of those things, I guess, with the game that I feel like they should have made this change already is a fairly simple balancing change for the game. Um, and there's really no reason why, you know, they wouldn't fix this. The second chapter is 35,000 points. Okay, so let's think about this. Chapter four is 40,000 points. Okay, so if you do all that math, it's 105,000 points in total, okay? So why on earth do we need the additional 20,000 points? It just, they could just knock that off and it would be perfect, perfect. And it would be so much more reasonable for everybody to be able to complete it. Smaller kingdoms are always going to have a harder time as it is just to get to chapter three's final rewards. It's really going to be hard, but it makes no sense why they haven't adjusted this and why they've made it so high just to begin with. Either the math they did was wrong or they just, uh, I don't know, just were like, oh, yeah, let's be assholes and just freaking make it 125,000 points. Like, what the heck? It's, it's like, what is an extra 20,000? That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Um, and it's not, it's not right. It's not right. Um, and that is something I hope they fix. It's probably the thing I'm most mad about with this update <laughs> which is on a very like honestly it's a small thing but at the same time 935 happiness is no joke in this season pass like it, no joke that's gonna get us several levels and we need it so uh, yeah I always get a little passionate about these sorts of things when things I feel are like unfair and uh, we have all talked about it in the community and stuff like that uh, for a while now so I feel like it's something that they should balance It'd be more fun for everyone. That is for sure. So let's have a look at the Wally -E collection here. So I wanted to show you guys, because I haven't had a chance to do this yet, the captain. The captain, what do we need for him? Well, we sh well, I showed you, so I said earlier that uh, we needed 15 of his captain's hats. I already have five. Let's see if I can make it six right now. Oh, the island getaway bundle. Okay. Cool. That is available for a limited time in the shop. Oh, look at that. I just got some stuff. Sweet. All right. Wally's still collecting. So I'll go back to the captain here. Um, now, this feature, guys, if you haven't noticed it yet, this is the most exciting 
feature of this update. I love it. I am so happy about it. And I hope this means there's going to be more little details like this to come. And I've actually talked about this before, especially during limited time events. It's so important, like, to make sure you send your characters out um, right away. And they always have to be doing the proper quests. Or, again, it can really screw you up. So this feature is going to be awesome going forward. So this is very helpful, obviously, for permanent content and other stuff too. But for limited time event stuff, this is like, this is essential. I can't believe that this has only been added now. But the character activities send all button. So good. So I'm going to show you guys. All the characters have to be doing is available to use this. So of course I do. Um, it's awesome. Honestly, I love it. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have unlocked the captain and how many tokens you have for him right now. Now, there are going to be many ways to get his hats. Um, I already have over the amount that I need for the common token, so I can't show you guys anything. I can't tap that once it's maxed out, but uh, there's a lot of one-hour quests for that. Um, and you can also get them from chess, too. So we'll have Eve, we... <laughs> Chip and Dale. Wow, I can't believe they're going to be at work. I forgot. I, I sent them out and I'm like, oh, I didn't realize Chip and Dale were a part of this quest. Um, Pluto, so that's great. It gives him something to do. And then if you guys got Mo, you do need Mo to be at a level five in order for him to help out. So it is a little high, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, especially because, I don't know, maybe it will work out realistically for newer players and stuff like that. But for older players, it'll be interesting to see, like, how long it would take to get Mo to a 5 versus, uh, you know, just collecting the, the hats just on their own. Um, and then his ears hats here. It looks like we have another chance to get a drop, which we did not get. But, um... So you need three, well, I have three of 18, and so I need 15 more. So we have Wally, Pete, Maximus, Buzz, and then Roz and Celia May. The Axiom, again, 15,000 elixirs in Merlin's shop, that is going to be the most uh, useful thing because even if I've collected all of them, it will always just still collect, right? So that is kind of a little extra bonus there for sure. So send all, oh my gosh, love it. You don't have to use it, but I am telling you, this is my favorite thing. Luca is back. Oh, I should have left that on the screen. Sorry. Oh, Buzz is ready. Okay, I'll just tap it this way for Buzz. There we go. Bye, Buzz. Off he goes. So that is going to be the captain. So if I wanted to gem him out, it'd be 260, which isn't too bad, but I don't want to gem him out. So I should have him in like a week at most. <laughs> like, honestly, I, if I'm checking my game as much as I am for the tower challenge, I could have him in a couple days. So I'll probably make another video for you guys uh, for then. Now, Mo, I am waiting until I get to 500 gems. I'm at 336 right now. I don't think this will take too long. Um, but I'm missing 164 gems. So I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to earn it the honest way. Yeah. I don't know why. But I just feel like I don't want to spend any money um, when I've got the season pass. That's kind of like my my thing now. I don't buy gems. I'll buy like things like the parade float and stuff like that if it's in a bundle or whatever now. But for the most part, I just buy the season pass. I really don't buy anything else. Because it's just, again, it's just too expensive. Um, and I can usually use all my gems and stuff that I collect to like, you know, welcome characters, no problem. So it usually works. It has been working for like a year, I guess now, I guess about a year. Um, has it been more than that? Well, I've definitely noticed it in the last year. I think it's been longer than that now. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit of time to go, but we'll see how long it takes to get those remaining gems. The parade float is going to help. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, actually, um, in the grand scheme of things. So that is just, you know, one of those other ways. It's unpredictable, though, I find the parade float. It's just, it's something I wouldn't necessarily rely on. Wow, Joy is really stuck. Let's get Joy here. Let's figure out what the heck is going on. Oh, yay! Send all. I freaking love that button. Holy smokes. What? So we're just waiting on, like, a whole bunch of tokens? That's wild. Okay. Well, I here I thought I could uh, go ahead and level somebody up, but that is just not happening. 
It's fine though. Okay, so here is actually one of those cursed attractions that I was talking about before. So the cursed attractions, you can tap them uh, four times and it will clear away the curse on it. And they, they just keep popping up randomly around your game. Um, and it usually is about a spawn rate of every four hours. So you can just kind of have a quick look around. So here's another one here. I think they're super cool when they go purple. It's one of my favorite things, but unfortunately, if I want characters to go inside to do quests, um, or again, just get magic or the tokens that are available there with the drops, you, you have to clear it away. And again, if you want to enchant it, you got to clear it away. So you have no choice um, but to do that. But I, I, I love seeing them purple. The only issue is you have to go around and look for it. Oh, look, ha ha ha. You guys get to see me release the last plot of land with this update. Um, so I put two attractions over here for now. Um, one is going to be probably a little bit more useful once I level up some characters and stuff like that. I should actually enchant this. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that now. Paradise Falls is being enchanted. And then the last slot of land. Poof. Yay. Okay, so this one just says coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. So we only have three left. Which, yeah, that's awesome. They really just needed to give us this one. I just, I, why not? <laughs> Please. Oh, jeez. Like, I was so sure with that little teaser trailer that we were getting it. But nope, not today. They're like, next time. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for, I don't think I'm, oh, yes, I did. I did miss something. I did miss one very important thing. Indiana Jones. So we only can see two characters here for now, but don't worry. Next update, we will be getting more Indiana Jones characters. So this will change everything. So at the moment, the only character that we're going to be probably getting in, you know, the next little bit will be Henry Jones Sr., I forgot his name was Henry. I love that because it reminds me of Once Upon a Time and it makes me so happy. I forget it's my favorite TV show and heck yeah. And that let's just talk about this stained glass. It is gorgeous. I love it. And I love how they made the whip look like it was a snake and then they have snakes like on the side and because Indiana Jones hates snakes. Um, yeah, so cool. So, so cool. I love it. Indiana Jones should have been here ages ago, but I'm so happy they're adding it now. Um, yeah, sweet. Marion Ravenwood. She'll be a while. She is going to take ages. As I said, 80 days. But great shoes. Great shoes. So that is going to be it now that I've showed you guys that. I guess that's uh, that's pretty much all I can, I can share with you for today. So good luck, everybody, with the Tower Challenge Chapter 1. I will be back for Chapter 2 if I do manage to welcome the captain. Well, you know, or Henry, guess what? I will be back before chapter two, but I won't be doing any other DMK videos um, until either one of those two things happen. So good luck to everybody. Let me know if, again, you have any questions or you want to share your progress with me in the kingdom. I love reading all of those glorious comments from all of you guys just to kind of see where you're at. And then, yeah, it kind of kind of keeps me up to date. That's for sure with my own game. So I love to hear it. So please share it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't given this the video a big Mickey thumbs up yet, please please do before it ends. It does help me a lot and show love and support to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.